Did Native Americans use everything? Did Native Americans live in harmony with nature? First things first, we can't lump Native Americans into a collective. We like to think Native Americans are a collective, it's more palatable for our media, but Native Americans were not a collective. They were many individuals that consisted of many different tribes, different religions, and cultures. For the first question, I will name some examples of tribes that engaged in environmentally damaging processes. The Iroquois and the Choctaw engaged in a practice called slash and burn. When farmland was basically used and drove into the ground, burn other parts of the forest to make way for new farmland. However, there wasn't a method on keeping it in control, and it burned hundreds of acres of forest and killed thousands of animals. As Thomas E. Wood Jr. noted in 33 Questions About American History, he quotes Terry Anderson, The fires displaced the deer that once roamed Hickory Forest. That made way for the long pine tree. But that actually limited life in the area. Deers had basically been depleted from the area due to fires. The long pine trees couldn't support the life that the hickory tree supported in the past. Thus, it limited the amount of animals that could actually settle in that area. For the second question, did Native Americans use every part of an animal or killed only the animals they needed? That is an astronomical no. As suggested by the evidence, tribes could be quite wasteful. For example, the Cherokee tribes almost drove the white-tailed deer into extinction. The Cree killed astronomical amounts of beaver, far more than they actually would have needed for subsistence. The media, and in some part, romanticized accounts of history, have portrayed Native Americans as a collective, as perfect. The problem with it is it ignores actual history, it ignores the archaeological evidence, and it downright paints Native Americans as a stereotype. Native Americans are people. As people, we are capable of doing great things. However, we are capable of doing quite horrible things. Every civilization has done horrible things. The English, Chinese, Italians, Mongols, the list goes on. Why are we ignoring the whole picture just to hold up an outdated picture? Why are we ignoring a complicated and nuanced situation? It's time we drop Rousseau's noble savage stereotype and actually evolve our understandings of history.